now we have to code the display page so when the user clicks on the details link we should take him to a separate page and on that page we should display the details of the animal he has chosen first of all we should plan what is to be displayed let us see here so in an h1 tag we can show the name of the animal then we can have a dive where we can show the photo of the animal and then h2 about we should show the text that comes from the html file that we added to the content for maintenance easy maintenance so this is the plan that we have to execute now we can see what is the data required now this this these two things they will come from our table tbl animal or whatever name we have given to it but this html has to come as a string from a separate file so this means model will not help us we will need view model view model will contain a string for this html and it will contain the records from the table view model can look like this class and we can write public tbl i think it's tbl animals get set public string detailed html or whatever name we can give get set so we have to send this object to the view we'll start by writing our view model right click add folder view models add class c detail data i am giving any name which comes to my mind and here we can write public i'll have to import the using for our it's not system it is mvc display project dot entity models public tbl animal animal get set then we can write public string info get set this is our view model that is complete right now here if you remember we will need a details view so let us add an action for called details details public action result details and it will ask for a string id we can write return view we'll first of all have to create the view model object but in any case 
we have to query the database. So we'll have to put this using db zoo entities ctxt is equal to new C detail so uh, C detail data I'll do that resolve C detail data CDT is equal to new C detail data so what are the properties I'll set first property is animal animal is equal to ctxt dot tbl animals dot single or dot single or there's no point in writing single or default because the animal is already present single tbl animal x goes to x dot animal code is double equal to id comma info is equal to now the question is that info has to be read from the file this means i have to create a string here string str info is equal to no info I'll just bring it scroll it upwards here using system dot io dot stream reader sr is equal to new stream reader the this will need path server dot map path so we have to map our path tilde slash content slash website slash now we can take the help of the actual path here oh it will be content by website by description by disk description by we can write string dot format take its help string dot format zero dot its ht ml I'll fold it backwards to get more space here. This will do. So now if you have a look at it, what we have basically done is something is wrong. Either I have one, two, three. I can write str info is equal to sr dot read to end and here come down I'll write str info format it it formats correctly ok I'll explain what I've done first before going further I'll pick this thread out I'll write here string str path is equal to id so uh, you, uh, let me first complete it then I can speak about it str path dot io dot file dot exists 
str path this is the code we are uh, writing a string str info no info in case the file doesn't exist or uh, somebody has uploaded the file with the wrong extension so i'm writing str path is equal to string dot format slash content slash zero dot html so this will give me the path to the html file that i placed in the description folder then if the file exists i'll open the file through a stream reader server dot map path and str info is equal to str sr read to end so i have str info then i open the connection to the database here i pick the animal single animal it's bound to exist because we have come from id it's going to exist info is equal to str info and pass this cdd to the view so this is the code that will give the data to the view which contains the description of the animal along with the other animal info next now right click add view the view name is already cor correctly here and click add at the top i can write the full path to my model it is mvc display project dot view models dot c detail data so this is my model and here are details so what do i have to have to write i have to write the name of the animal here at the rate html dot display for x goes to model dot animal dot animal name so this is what you could have equivalently written here at the rate model dot animal dot animal name this is one the same thing but this time just to tell you that the other way around is also possible that you can use the display for also to render the model property we can do it this way also since i would like you to remember all the things that we are doing div img src is equal to slash content slash website slash images slash at the rate model dot animal dot animal code dot jpg alt is equal to at the rate at the rate model dot animal dot animal name width is equal to 256 so this gives me the image here i can write h2 about so this is the point where i have to display the html as it comes from the file now the file contains tags also since it contains tags also i'll have to use at the rate html dot raw and what do i pass to it at the rate model dot 
info. So this one, this thing creates my details page. I can now view the info. Let me now run it. So I can now look up the details of chimpanzee. This one is correct. The photo is also appearing correctly. Correct, correct, but this is not correct. This means it has not been read correctly. Closing it, coming to debug it now. If uh, something is wrong in this, I must go to my controller and have a look here. It says, okay, the mistake is that server dot map path should have been here. So that was a mistake. The correct path was to be obtained here and then the remaining code would proceed. Control F5 running it again. Click on the details. Yes, this one it works now. And not only this, the embedded YouTube video is also showing up correctly. So you can now imagine the power of MVC. See other details also. Click on animals this. So whatever data was entered is being shown here. Coming back. This is how we are able to reach the next page and show the details there. So we'll proceed to the next part in our next lecture. Right now we are closing it. Thanks.